Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. I am just making a bit more netherite scrap. I did notice that I well I just made a draw for this because we were full. We were, we had a full draw of debris scrap, so I do need to automate that. Uh at some point. I'm not gonna do it yet. What I am gonna do is show you what I did between episodes. So I actually did stuff between episodes for once. And that is this thing here. This isn't finished yet, just uh, just so as you know. So I, sh oh, actually, that's a good point. I need some add-ons for these. So what this thing here is doing, uh, I like to do it like this and I can just chuck them all in. And like that. So what this thing here is doing is uh, creating us some netherrack from the water and the lava from the ender tanks that we've got. And all that's doing is importing into our system. Now, what we have down here is we've got these netherite auto hammers. These were definitely not a thing because I just completed the quest. I, I probably should have waited for you guys to complete this, but Basically, these don't take any power whatsoever. And as someone pointed out in the comments who actually pointed me in the direction of these, you can hammer down, you can see it right there. I'm using two times compressed right there. So that's two times compressed cobblestone, which is basically every hammer it does is 81 um, gravel. And it is quick. At least the, the netherite one is ridiculously quick. Uh, that's why I was making more scrap, because I want to make two more of these. But yeah, this one is creating us... Uh, this one's doing sand, so this one's doing gravel from compressed cobble. This one's doing sand... no, dirt. I forgot there was dirt in there. So this one's doing dirt from compressed gravel. This one's doing sand from compressed dirt. And this one here is doing dust from compressed sand so that's how we're doing that and then this bot this, this one on the end here is just doing uh netherrack and that netherrack is coming from these three generators right here so these are making the although are we running out of we are running out of lava brilliant okay maybe i need to which one's our lava is it this one uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Can you run out of cobble? You haven't. Okay, these things are just... Oh, what do we do here? Maybe we make another cube. Uh, which, in that case... Yeah, I'm going to make another cube and I'm going to set up another ton of... Uh, this one here. I'm going to make another ton of these. Might make a bigger cube and then do a double layer. And yeah, I think that will work. Okay, so I'll be back once I've set that up. So I am completely out of good cobble gems. So I'm making one now. Uh, I'm hoping I'll just do this. Once this block of rose gold goes in here, then I will set up. Uh, I'm going to chuck it down here, can't I? Why is there a cow up here? No idea how he got up here. Anyway, so in here with... Oh, it has to be on cold, if I remember. Uh, which is fine, because we've got some dry... We've got one dry ice. Oh, oh well, that's all we need. Chuck that down. Let's pick this up. Uh, we need, uh, I'm going to use an automator as a pipe for now, because I've got some of these. Stick that next to it. Then, there we go, we should get one from that. Thank you. Cool. So this is the one I decided to set up, which... It's bigger, but it's not, if you see what I mean there. <laughs> so I am 
I'm just going to chuck this in the corner here. Oh, no, I want that to be one further up. Uh, I don't have access in here, so let's grab draw. Let's get a random draw with nothing in it. Uh, might as well get our key. Hopefully this will do something. Oh, and I, I also need to set all of these to consume. Consume that. Right, I'll be back once I've set all of these up. Okay, these are all now going. Uh, it looks like it's uh, kind of keeping up now. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount of uh, like auto jar thingies to make. Uh, to be fair, I can move my other setup in here. And then we don't have to have... Ah, yeah, because we need this chunk loaded. And I'm fully out of chunk loads. Poop. Okay. So if I have all of my... Uh, so... What's this? This is one, two, three. So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. I could put this trash can on the side here and then put another trash can here maybe and then I could set my, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go do that quick and then I'll be back. Right, there we go. These two are now set up again. <laughs> That's a lot of lava for us to be uh, creating right there. Um, I just wanted to, oh, actually we can now, I forgot, we need to undo this one. Unforce load this one. Then we need to force load this one. Lovely. Right. There we go. Now we can get get into the the episode for for reels this time. Uh, I'm gonna move these two around. Oh, that's not it. I'm back here. There we go. So between episodes, my I think this is finished now. Uh, I put all of this stuff away. Oh, this has been a long time since we've seen these fluid containers. Anyway, I'll chuck all of these away. No, time in the bowl. I don't think I've spent too much time without you guys. But, oh my god, look how much dust we've got. That, that was at like 64k when we first started this episode, so it's gone up quite a lot. Let's hop back in again. Uh, we are completely out of these two. And we're not going to get a backup, I don't think. I need to figure that out. But basically... Yeah, this is... Not exactly sure how this will work. I'm going to come back to that in a bit, but... How's this doing? Why are you not... And why are you not going down? Is it because you've got some of that essence, whatever it's called? Uh, okay, let me grab a key quick. Key. Oh, and then I can grab this one and plop it in there and then I'll fix that. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, this is where... Right, let me just tidy up a little bit. Actually, I think that was it. Uh, how are we doing on soul sand? We are, uh, Yeah, we've got a bit of soul sand. <laughs> I'm going to change this so bad. Uh, I need to put this over here. And then up here, I want to do end stone. That was it. That's what we were going to get into. So, in our big old compact machine here, I wanted to get us another few of these hammer things, auto hammers. So I set all the recipes up for them because I made one of these and then I was like, that's a bit of an involved craft. You know what? I'll just chuck it down. Uh, you need to know the sidedness of this. So I cannot remember what this side is. Let's chuck it down. I think blue is input and red is output. Yeah, you can see the arrows there. So that's down and that one's going into 
So if this is an importer, you want the output to be on this side. So if I do it like this, output is on this side. Nice. And I can put one right here, like this. This is going to be for end stone. In fact, it's not. It's going to be for double compressed end stone. So we've got one of these now. Uh, now we need an exporter with a crafting card and we need some speed upgrades. So let me grab those one sec. Right, there you go. I think I've got everything for this. So we need an importer on the front. I did make two of everything because uh, I'm also going to do this for basalt. So that's an exporter that does that. That should be getting stuff. There we go. Look how much um, output that's got now. So for this one, we need to put a stack upgrade and some speed upgrades. That'll be putting into our system. Rush. Look how much we got already. It's insane. It just goes up and up. It's mental. So <laughs> thank you for the guy who suggested this. This is an amazing suggestion. Uh, and then we want to do the same on this side. So I did get another one of these, didn't I? So how is this going to place? If I pop it down like that. Yeah, that's exactly how we want it. All to do with the sidedness of this. I did set set this up um, like over here for a bit whilst I figured it out. A little bit of testing. Not too much testing on this to be fair. It's relatively simple, so that was good. Basalt compressed. Already set the recipes up for these. So there's no like waiting around for it. I'll go like that. I was chucking that stuff in there. We do need an importer right here. And let's do that as well. So we should be getting crushed. Not crush. Crush basalt. Why are you not coming in? Importer. Did I do that the wrong way around? No, that is the output. Why are you not coming in? Oh, I understand why. Because I broke that cable. Right, let's, let's check this back on. I'm doing it on both sides just because it's symmetrical, right? Let's grab this one here. And that should be all of the resources now generating the crush versions. Uh, the only issue I've got now is I've got a ton of dust, but I don't have any of the rest of the materials. I'm getting ridiculous. Oh, look at that. That's, that's so much right there. All of my, that's probably all the backup that I had of basalt as well has now become crushed basalt. Mental, absolutely mental. Right, I need a few more drawers. One, two. And let's get some upgrades as well. Up, upgrade. Uh, let's get six of this. No, let's get twelve of these, and then I want some voids as well. Voids and these ones. So these are going to go up right. Yeah, chuck them there for now. One, two, three. Uh, let's chuck these in first. I think that's all of them. And now I can get my end stone and my crushed end stone. So, crushed and end stone. I also want my other key, right? One and two. Lovely. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing about this. Oh, I have a plan for that. Yes, that might work. So this one here. 
This one is, yeah, double compressed. This one is double compressed. So I could do triple compressed. I'm not sure if that works. I can give it a go, I suppose. Triple co compressed, this will be double compressed. This will be single compressed. And then I'll be exporting sand into here. And then that would kind of work, maybe. Uh, compressed. Like me. Okay. Also, I don't think our cobblestone generator is keeping up now. It is definitely not keeping up. Okay. So what we can do for now is say only work with redstone signal. And that should give us a backup of cobble. At least enough so I can make myself a triple compressed. Uh, that's not even a double compressed right there. Cool. Okay, I'll let this back up. Uh, whilst I do that, I'm going to make... Whilst this like backs up a little bit, I'm going to make a bunch more um, cobble gens, because why not? So all I've got here is a hopper, which has got some of these tier 1s. You can just hopper them onto here, and I've got this with the perfect amount, I think, of blocks. Could be wrong, though. Uh, that looks like that's all of them. So when this gets to 50, which is... Yeah, there we go. So we should have... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, when this goes like this, how many have we got in here? 45. Takes 5 per... Maybe I miscounted. Anyway, doesn't matter. We've got those coming out of there into here. So we've got loads of these. And then I'm going to make a bunch of these cast iron gears, a bunch of compressed stone. Uh, can I smelt stone? No. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll, uh, I'll make all of these and I'll try and get enough. So... I'm looking for basically 16 of these uh, tier 4s or tier 5s. What are they? These ones. I want to make 16 of these. Where it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I'll see you back in a bit. I forgot time in a bottle. Works on this. Uh, also, I was wrong. I needed uh, 10 more blocks. But there we go. We've got a bunch of these cobble gens now. I'll go make the rest. BRB. And we're kind of back. I, I spent a little while and I ripped everything down that was in here. It looked pretty, but it wasn't practical, right? Uh, it's just like a Porsche. It looks pretty, but it's not practical. <laughs> this doesn't look pretty, but it's very practical. This is more like a sedan or, you know. Okay, I'll start with the car references because I don't know what I'm saying. So what I've got here is... I've, so if I go in, into this, um, I'm getting quite a lot of compressed cobble. Basically, what, what I did was, I did end up making loads of these tier 5 cobble gens. I then, yeah, built this horrible monster. So what this does is, I've got a diamond upgrade in here that is only allowing compressed times 2 cobblestone. That pulls out of here, pushes into here. Uh, we have got cobblestone on our system now. Let me just show you that because I may have gone a little bit overboard. Uh, we've got a little bit of cobble. The two on the ends are uh, fully upgraded as well. So let me just... Yeah, there we go. So these are fully upgraded. They've got void upgrades and they've got, you know... Uh, the, the emerald, which I think is the, the biggest. But yeah, I kind of put them all here. This is all attached to our system. So obviously up here, they're attached here. I'm not sure how far this goes. So that down there may not reach like all the way up here and all the way around to this front bit here. So not entirely sure. But it means we got a ton of cobble coming in now. <laughs> so... 
yeah, let's go back to the other thing that I was working on. This thing, yeah. So what this does is it then has just the the yellow, or is it gold? I think it's called. Well, it's the improved. I've got my up here, look. So this improved one lets us set the distribution. So uh, I think the iron one lets you do like the redstone stuff. This one lets you do this, this like round robin or nearest first or furthest first, you know. So that's letting us um, do round robin, which basically means it will go to this one and then it will go to this one. So if there's like four items in there, two will go here, two will go here. I don't know if it, what happens if there's five. It must just like pick a random one. Um, and then I've got another advanced one on here with the double compressed gravel. That's pushing into this. And again, this is round robin in. So it's got these two here. Um, and then this then pushes up this one here, pushes up into here, which again, round robin. But because if you get a, a draw, so I get the compacting draw, I've probably got another one somewhere. What's in this? Ah, it's already in there. So if you see this, it these ones here will only compact down to like their double compressed or, you know, one like this. But because sand has got a two by two recipe to make sandstone, it won't do that. And there's, I don't think there's a way of like, oh, there's a lot of sand in here. You can't put it in this corner one here because it, it just automatically like looks up that recipe. Put those in there now. Also, all of these are fully upgraded now. And, oh, sorry, I was showing you this. So up here, I've got a, this is a tier one crafter. They're pretty quick. So what they do here is I've got one that takes just regular sand and puts it in the internal buffer. It turns it into this one time compressed, puts in this internal buffer here then the second one is the double compressed which just takes those one time compressed which are in this this buffer here turns it into double compressed and then puts it in the output so as you uh, it, it just came in here but basically anything that gets put in here will uh yeah get crafted into one times the next time actually i can show you if i grab one of these and plop it in here We should see, see, see it, it like instantly crafts and chucks it down here. This is just a regular pipe and it just pipes out whatever's from this output area here. And that goes into here and then that gets basically crushed up into dust. Also, has they changed the dust model? Because I swear this looks a bit different than normal. Anyway, yeah, so this is now all automated. And then at the back here, I was just setting some stuff up for this. In fact, I thought I'd already done this, but I obviously have them. <laughs> so this one, I can set priority 10. That's probably getting, there we go, priority 10. And now I just need some cable. This does look a bit not amazing, I must admit, but I would rather have it be practical at this point. Oh, and this one needs a cable going up. There we go. We've got these all coming in. Um, I can sort of remove the ones that we've got in our other thing in here now. I can remove these four that we've got even though there's so many dust in here. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna remove these and then we'll be back in a sec. Right, and there we go. So we've got the dust now over here. I swapped them out and then I pulled all of the dust out of the one that was already up there, the 3000, whatever we had, and put it back in this one. Um, 
I didn't have any sand, it was at zero, so I didn't have to do anything with that one. I just pulled out all of the, um, you know, upgrades. Uh, I didn't have any gravel either, so I didn't have to do anything for that. But I did uh, pull out some of the dirt. There was like a couple of thousand dirt in there, so I put that in here. Uh, and then I set this up over here. And what I decided to do is I put in some of these detectors. So if you notice here, what this does is if it's got uh, emit a signal when under the amount, which is 1028. So this one should be going on and off, on and off, on and off. I think, wait, uh, netherrack, oh, there it is. So that has gone down. So it went down by 80 and now it's going to go up. When it goes over 1028, it'll go down again because that turned off, which then made this, which has got the crafter with the two times compressed netherrack in there. Uh, it made that push it into here, which then exports it. I've got this set up for the basalt and the endstone as well, actually. So as you see there, it just turned off and turned back on. Uh, so this is more handleable than what we had previously, right? It it was like a bit OTT. In fact, we got ridiculous amounts of dust doing that. But yeah, uh, we've got this going now as well. We've got a load of cobblestone. We don't actually need that amount of cobblestone. So, and in fact, what I was about to do was I was going to pop in here and put void upgrades on all of these but we don't really need void um yeah let's just do it anyway i was gonna say we don't need it because these up here well i mean these two on the end have got you know all of the upgrades and a void upgrade uh so if we do end up pulling out of i don't know pulling out of here uh when these are full up then yeah i don't don't think any of these have got yeah these haven't got any upgrades i'm just going to stick some void upgrades on there just in case uh so i've got four and i need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven which is fine because we do have these already so we need seven overall because we already have four right so Okay, so I can just done. I quite like this being up here. To be fair, <laughs> the blue's a bit like weird, and uh, I will end up banging my head on it. But I think that's okay. We'll be looking at it from this direction anyway, right? So that's fine. A bit weird that this is over here like this. So I might move these over there. And uh, I made a little bit of a snafu earlier, which is kind of point like yeah. So do you remember we had our soul sand in here? Well, we don't anymore. I unlocked. I I used my key on this. I unlocked it and then locked it again, and it got rid of this. And it also got rid of a bunch of these that we didn't have anything in, which was super annoying. I had to go around. I had to make a steel and some reason all of my cast iron was in my system anyway so I do need to set up another draw I'm gonna set up another draw for soul sand in fact we can put that in no nope, it's not the one this one yeah we can put soul sand in here and this will be literally our like base resource generation I like that or like the crushed version no, no, because these are base resources, right? They, these over here are like the crushed versions of stuff. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to go and set up some sort of soul sand automation. And we'll be back in a sec. Actually, looking at it, it looks like that's all we've got for this episode. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.